Okay, so in the previous five steps, we've uh, set up a JotForm web form to provide to one of your clients. We've set up a Zap in Zapier in order to send it through. And um, we have set up your account in Spatula and we've connected all three together. So hopefully we're ready to go with our first client um, and they can go ahead and start creating jobs. So let's just have a look at how this is gonna work in its final form. Um, I've already logged in, by the way, here to the driver application. Um, so just using the, just this, once you've downloaded the Spatula Go driver app to your phone, uh, just log in with the same username and password that you signed up for Spatula with. Um, let's just turn that off so you can see the notification come through. Uh, we're going to go to the job form and we're on, we're on the build edit page here. We need to go to publish and there's a bunch of ways you can share this form. The easiest way is just to copy that link and give that to your client or to go put that directly onto a tablet or something so that they've got direct access, direct access to the form. Um, you can also provide some in, embed code to your web developer and put that in your website or if you're using WordPress or something like that, there's a few ways to connect more directly to the job form. Uh, but the absolute easiest thing to do is to copy this link and go paste it into a browser browser and then uh, your clients will be able to type a request directly into here. So if I fill this out real quick and fill this out and submit that job then um, the, the Zap can still take sort of 30 to seconds to a minute to come through sometimes, uh, depending on how busy the Zap server is, but there it is straight away. Um, let's just go to that and let, unlock my phone. Got notified of the new job. If we go to the little inbox in the top right hand corner now, we'll see exactly what that job is. I'm going to accept that job. Uh, no more offers available. If I click the little back button, it'll now show me my running sheet of all the jobs that I'm supposed to do as the driver. Um, I'm going to leave it there. You can see how it looks end to end. Um, over here in the in the actual um, command center, you can see now where the driver is. Um, this is where I am at our office here at UWA in Perth, uh, and we've got the um, we've got the two stops on the job to do. So the pickup six minutes away and the drop off 43 minutes away. Uh, so uh, you can see my gravatar icon here is showing up on the job now that I've the one who's accepted it. If that would update if I changed the uh, my profile pic in the driver app here, um, and if I click on the way, actually you'll see um, you'll see an ETA appear on the control center as well as well. Yeah, you can see the, that I put my own phone number in as the client contact, so the SMS saying that we're on the way has shown up there as well. Uh, so um, I'm going to leave that there for this video. You can see that the whole thing's working end to end, and I'll post down the bottom some videos about how to use the driver app, so you can go through that in detail. How to add more drivers to the system, how to edit the branding so that the tracking link's got your your company's brand on it. But um, that's it for this video. You are now set up and ready to start taking orders from your first client.